Hey, I'm Dr. Nehemiah Mabry, and this is Engineering Building 3 on Centennial Campus of North Carolina State University. I spend a lot of time here as a student, and I know this is a great place where things are discovered. Christina Cook also spent a lot of time here. Christina Cook is an astronaut who grew up here in North Carolina, who was recently named to the new Artemis NASA crew. The longest continuous space flight ever by a woman, your mission specialist, Christina Hammett Cook. People at NC State are excited about Christina Cook. Christina was born in Michigan, but she grew up in North Carolina and attended several schools here. White Oak High in Jacksonville, the North Carolina School of Science and Math in Durham. My whole world opened up to me. You know, I was from Jacksonville, North Carolina, kind of a small town. Small. And she earned a Bachelor of Science and Master's degrees in Electrical Engineering at NC State. Oh, and she got a degree in physics too. When I was at NC State, I was what I would call uh, fiercely individualistic. I really took on everything independently and I wanted to figure everything out on my own. And something that I learned a little bit later in my career is the value of teamwork. You're a trailblazer and a role model. We're all very excited that Christina is going to be one of the astronauts who was selected for the Artemis mission. Uh, I think she well represents NC State. For our students alone, that, that is a great motivator and a great source of pride. It really highlights to our students what one can achieve. As the only professional engineer in the Christina set a record for the longest single space flight by a woman. That's 328 days in space. Engineering is, is no longer sort of these niche fields working on their own. So the, the technologies that we develop, for example, yes, they apply for aircraft and space structures, but they apply for a lot of other things as well. Robotics for medical applications, uh, for of course for clean energy. Even within the aerospace field, you know, we are, we're really trying to increase performance so that we can reduce fuel consumption. Kara Peters has been at NC State for more than 20 years and has seen many changes. When I came, there wasn't really a large aerospace industry here. And I think that's really changed in the state. And a lot of that has been driven by the exciting activities here at, at NC State. We see now, for example, in the Piedmont area has be, is becoming really an aerospace manufacturing hub. We have Spirit Aerosystems in Kinston, which is you know, second largest autoclave in the, in the world. So there, there's been a lot of new and exciting aerospace industry here that's coming into the state. I think here in the aerospace engineering department, we have a lot of work in the hypersonics area, in drones and all kinds of design of drones. We've had work on drones that, for example, can swim underwater and transition to flight and then back into swimming. So we have really a breadth of faculty working on a lot of different areas of, of aerospace engineering here. Dr. Peters, walked us through several labs where students are getting hands-on experience in engineering. This is a plane fitted with cameras that will help the forestry service, all designed and built by students. They do the full structural design, they do the full aerodynamics design, they implement all the control systems, the cameras, everything. They do it completely from scratch every year. It's more of a first response system where you have like, you know, you have your firefighting planes that actually contain wildfires. This would be more response and initial measurements, checking how it's spreading, checking which way it's going. So this is our anechoic chamber where we can do acoustics testing, noise testing with a very, very low noise threshold in the background. So for example, we have students who are doing tests on airflow from engines. We do things like um, looking at noise control. Noise pollution from aircraft is a very critical problem, particularly as we get more and more flights in very particularly dense urban areas. So we can do a lot of noise testing for different engine systems, for aircraft systems. We can also do... You don't want to get locked in this lab. No one, I mean, flights. no one could hear you scream. But this is sort of a unique facility here at, at NC State in the state of North Carolina. There are mechanical engineering machine shops with all kinds of tools and where lots of cool things happen. And then there's the Rocketry Club. The team of eight senior design members plus about 40 uh, additional club members has built this rocket this year. 
Uh, it's a four fin design. Uh, we have a removable fin section. It's a single stage solid rocket uh, motor. This rocket motor will launch the vehicle. It's about 41 pounds. It'll launch it to uh, right at 4,500 feet into the air. Christina Cook got her start right here in aerospace engineering. There's Christina's signature down there. Our club is celebrating right now because she'll be the first woman to orbit the moon. Because the opportunities that this club has given me is like nothing else that I could have dreamed of coming to state. Five, four, three, two, one, one. That's one of the best things about being at NC State right now is that we certainly are moving up and it's definitely a, an exponential growth. Physically, we're expecting to see a large growth in the college in the next few years, but on top of that, research has truly grown. I think our reputation has, has really grown. We're seeing a lot more exciting opportunities. We're seeing a lot of connections with industry. So I think it's a, it's a really good time to be at NC State.